The Manhattan District Attorney, Robert Morgenthau, announced a 118-count indictment against a Chinese citizen who remains a fugitive in China. U.S. law enforcement says no picture of the fugitive is available. The shocker of it is that Li Fang Wei and his company, Limit, had been banned by the U.S. Treasury Department from doing business in the United States in 2006. Yet for nearly two years, he continued to use U.S. banks to send and receive dozens of illegal payments used to finance materials for Iran's nuclear program. Prosecutors were quick to say the U.S. banks were duped by his fake Chinese shell companies. They were completely deceived by the, by the use of multiple aliases. I mean, there were four aliases, front companies for the Iranians, six for the, for the uh, Chinese company. We do not think that they participated uh, knowingly in, the, in these transactions. The New York District Attorney's Office stumbled into the plot, discovering it during another investigation of Iranian money laundering. This was simply another aspect of uh, receiving a lead and just chasing it down like we do any white-collar lead, economic crimes. The U.S. investigation was aided by the Wisconsin Project, a research organization that tracks weapons of mass destruction. Its director, Gary Milholland, wonders why there was no federal investigation. It is surprising that a case of this magnitude for international relations and for uh, our security would come out of uh, basically a, a local investigation in New York. Uh, I think that what that shows is that uh, when it comes to enforcing the law, uh, our uh, international efforts and our federal efforts haven't really been up to snuff. It's the Manhattan District Attorney who is asking for Li Fang Wei to be extradited by the Chinese government. The big question is, did the Chinese government know? After all, Chinese banks were involved in some of these transactions. Chinese companies have long been accused of using shell companies in the United States. Kitty Pilgrim, CNN, New York.